Well, hello everybody and welcome back for more fabled hunting action. That's right, we're back out here in North Row hunting the fabled Rahotep or Rahotep. I think it's Rahotep, but that's how it's uh, pronounced. But he's there and we're here. He's level 20 and he's a bad boy because we're only 18 and uh, we're an enchanter. We're going to try to solo him. We do have cleric buffs, which are fading. Some of them are fading here. We have Spirit of Wolf, which is a necessity. If you're going to try to solo him, make sure you've got Spirit of Wolf. He is right outside the Common Lands Tunnel, so makes for a very, very easy escape. We have two possible plans of action. One possible plan of action is to Root Rod him. The other is to try to chain cast pets. But unfortunately, we only have two tiny daggers, so it doesn't look like that's going to give us too many pets. Each pet costs 105 mana. We have 516 mana. So we're not going to be able to do too many pets. I'm going to go ahead and try to root rot him. And if he breaks three, we'll use the pet to hold him off so we can make a run for the common lands. Now, there is a little bit of a problem because around him, he has these other guys. This one here, the shriveled mummy, can probably be pulled with him. He'll probably come with him. But what I plan to do is instead cast Soothe on him. Now, as you know, Soothe lasts a long, long time. So the good news with that is we can cast it and we can med all the way up. Let's check out who the other guys are around here. We have Shriveled Mummy over there. Don't worry about him. He's too far away. These guys are too low. This is the only one that we really have to worry about. Let's see what we have down here in the gully. We have a Crypt Mummy. Hopefully he won't path over there. The goal is to pull him straight out the gully over to the Common Lands Tunnel. After we get him there, then Root Rod him, run back over here, and kind of make a triangle uh, pattern. And hopefully we should have enough, by my calculations, if we don't get resisted, we should be able to take him down. Now, I would like to add that if we do start getting get resisted, we're going to make one attempt to go ahead and um, face tank him and let the pet beat on him. The pet is fully weaponized with two weapons, so it should dual wield. But first, let's get the party started with a soothe. It has landed. That's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and sit. Let's regain this man. Every drip of mana counts. I'm going to leave the spells up here for you all to see exactly what the plan of action is. Uh, soothe lasts a long, 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 long time. A very long time. As you can see, it lasts two minutes uh, on him. So there we go. We, we're good. Let's move back over to the pull position right here. First thing we're going to do is try to toss him. Keep in mind, he. Um, we're going to try to toss him at maximum range. He's very, very resistant. Let's go max range, too far. Move a little closer, too far. Here it goes. And once he gets above the rise here, we're going to root him, stick his head up. Root, come on, you got to land. Got him. Okay, so root one is landed. Let's see if we can. the choke doesn't break his root. It landed. Okay, so when this happens, we can sit here. Actually, the thing to do is move to a different spot. Next, go to our plan. We try to outrun him, gain some distance on him before we put the next root on him. Here comes root two. Got him. The root has landed. Let's see how much we have on choke. We have 22 seconds. Get a little more distance. And if he pops up, we don't want the root. Root's going to break. We're going to let choke go all the way we've taken off about 10 percent we're regaining mana because we do have breeze don't try this without breeze it probably won't work next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to redot him hopefully it won't break root there we go and go with the root come on and that was my druid over there hiding out so there's Rehotep. Okay, so let's do this here. And let's see how we're doing here. We're back to 25 seconds, 18 seconds. It's going to be a close one. Let's see if we can uh, reapply this just in time 12, 11. We're going to slowly work him down. If we can get him down to about 50% with our mana in this situation, we're in good shape. Here he goes. He's breaking out of it again. Let's try to root him. Got the root back on him. Let's get with the choke. 
Hope it doesn't break root, and it doesn't, so we can wait here. If he breaks out again, we're going to reroute him. Just got to be patient here. And remember, we have a backup plan. Root. There we go. And sit here. Uh, we have, what do we, 28 seconds left. Keep an eye on him. Got, you got to be patient. Very, very patient here. He is level 20. Okay, there it goes. What do we have? 27 seconds here, 14 seconds. It's going to be a close countdown. Rooting him. Get the dot back on. Hopefully it doesn't break root. And it did. Quickly hit him with the root again. And keep this triangle pattern set up just like this. Keep moving like this. And as soon as you can, sometimes root breaks in the middle. But just do this. See how my triangle formation? And kite him, root rod him this way. We're still keeping up with him. We have 28 seconds. If he breaks again, we can reroute him. Always keep him in place. The pet has lost one of its buffs, but that's okay. It's a game of waiting. Okay, there we go. So he's going to lose the root. And which one is he going to lose first? Choke. Oh, they're about the same time. Okay, let's go ahead and hit him with the root. Got him. Again. Okay, it's a little close. Let's try to get the dot back on him. That was not good. See how it resisted? We need to get to a point where we can med up again, gain a couple ticks of mana back. Let's see, sit over here. Let's just get a couple ticks. If we can get back to 50%, that would be very, very advantageous. 20 seconds left on root. That means he's going to break root, and he's going to break Tosh. Okay, let's get this root back on him. It's a close battle. What are we looking at here? We got 14 seconds left. See how I turn as I cast root? That way you know it doesn't, uh, you're not moving. Really gonna need, we're really, really going to need some time to med up here if we're going to have any chance on taking him down. And there he is. We're going to wait right here. Let's hope this is a good one. 26 seconds. Oh, and root broke again. Reroute. Come on. Oh, boy. It's almost time for the pet to, gosh. Oh, and we don't have even enough for the dot. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. We need a couple more for the dot. Come on. That wasn't good. We're going to have to try to outrun him. Was not good at all. We don't have enough. It would be nice to get a dot on him. Stay with this pattern here. Make it a little more circular like this so that he goes around the corner and keeps getting hit by the pet. Pet's doing great. This is what we want to see. And we have another dot we can land on him. There. Okay, this is this is good. Let's wait. Hopefully get enough just to root him again. This is the difference Breeze makes. You make sure you're topped off on Breeze. It's going to be close battle here. He's at 4%, 2%. And we got him.
Good job, everybody. This is the way to do it. And here it is. The scepter of Rotep is what he normally drops. And here is the fabled scepter of Rotep, which he dropped. And it can be used by all. Look at his disease poison four. The base damage and delay is not bad. AC two, uh, hit points 15. And how does this uh, go with what I do have already? And right now here, all I had is a dagger. So this would be a nice uh, item to go ahead and equip. And we will go ahead and replace it with what we have. So as we build out our character with more fabled items, this is uh, what we get. We don't want the, um, the normal one here. This is not good. We'll just leave this on the ground. But fabled scepter of Rotep with a root rot. It was close. We got him all the way down. The pet managed to live. And you see the pet is a good backup plan for this and when the dots resist now the way you want to think about this is when you do this encounter if uh, Rotep for example resists uh, the first few dots I would say like he resists three dots or something uh, what you should do is just run it and then zone it out and try it again because you don't have that much mana you can see I use almost all my mana it was just enough at level 18 to take him down and you need every bit of that mana. So you want to check for those first few resists. Uh, get the first few, few rounds of dots on them. And if that works, you got a good chance of doing it. Another way to look at this is to try to uh, spawn pets and then let them hit on you back up to max distance as far as you can. When he takes a pet down, recast another pet and keep chain casting the pets and let him fight with the pets. That might work too. But it's hard to say really because you won't be able to have buff pets at all unless you're running a Merc, and if you're running a Merc, it's too easy. So let's quickly talk about what our character's looking like. We have Fabled Scepter of Rotep, we have Fabled Glowing Black Stone, Fabled Fippy's Paw, and these are very, very nice. Let's take a look and compare them. Put them up like this, so you can see we had a nice little Fabled run. It's good to get these Fabled items for your character, whether you're on P99 or whether you're on the EQ Live. They're nice items, of course, Defiant are better, but these have a little special something to go with them because they're from mobs you took down. They're kind of like trophies, I'd like to say. So once again, Rotep, level 20, another one bites the dust. We'll be back with more. Thanks for watching, and make sure you stay tuned.